I've been in government before, I've, I've been minister before, I've been a, a member of parliament before, I've been a party organizer before. And so I know that we need to carry party grassroots along. Uh, you, you cannot be in government and doing all the good things and your party people don't propagate the ideas or they don't go and market it properly. And if it's the case, then you need to find out what's the problem. And if you are not careful, there's a little disconnect. The expectation is there and people get into government, they tend to forget sometimes the, the base in which we came from. And we are aware of that. I mean, if a party will succeed in election, it's about its base. It's about its supporters. It's about its foot soldiers and grassroots people. If you ignore them, you lose. As simple as ABC. And so I, 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 I'm, 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 a, I'm a very grassroots person. I'm a village boy. Most people don't know. I, I'm from, I'm from Kromansi and Konongo. Um, as I said, if it wasn't education, I would be uh, on the beach from dragging the nets from the sea or going to fishing. It's a profession, but uh, how much can I earn and give some, something to somebody or contribute? But education has lifted me and lifted the community and lifted people. And I've, I've also made sure I mentor and train youngsters because at the end of the day, and a, a, a politician must not come in and leave the scene and no trace of his, his doing. You must have young people who believe in you and who you take your time and nurture them. And then when you are old, you can, you can say, yes, I, I, I am part of those who train them. That's what I mean in politics for.